Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher again coming to you from Reading Town. I hope you've been doing well. Let's take a look at today's article. Today's article says, say cheese. So, we usually say cheese before you take a picture. In Korea, people used to say kimchi, right? Or something to make you smile. But say cheese is that phrase, but this article is definitely about cheese, not about taking pictures. As you can see, those are big uh, chunks of cheese that are getting ready uh, to be eaten. So let's take a look at what this article is really about. So it says, most people love the taste of cheese. I know I do. Cheese is delicious. There's many types of cheese, but not all people like it. So it says most people love the taste of cheese. Lots of cheese products such as cheese burgers, cheese cake, and cheese pizza are popular. So products are the different things or the different types or the different materials. So things that come out, a cheeseburger is a product. A cheese cake is a different product. And cheese pizza, right, another product, they're very popular. Popular meaning many people like them. So it's very popular. People want to have uh, cheeseburgers for lunch, right, or cheesecake for dessert, or cheese pizza for dinner. In addition, so it means in, in addition including or more, uh, cheese can be eaten alone or added to other foods. So you can just eat cheese by itself, right? I do that when I'm watching TV sometimes. Or you can eat it with other foods. So you can put cheese on top of your dessert or cheese on your cracker. The volume of cheese consumed has also increased gradually around the world. Let's take a look at that sentence. So the volume of cheese, meaning the amount of cheese, how much cheese, has been consumed. Consumed is when you eat it, when people eat it. So how much cheese that people have eaten in the world has also increased. It has gone up. So more and more people have been eating cheese every year, gradually, meaning little by little bit, every year around the world. So cheese has becoming more popular or more and more people like it. So more and more people are eating it more and more every year. So it says, for example, the U.S. Department of Agriculture said the average American eats 34 pounds of cheese every year, up 43% from 25 years ago. So uh, it says in the U.S. Department of Agriculture, so this is uh, the group in America that watches uh, how the food is made, how the food is grown. Uh, that, that department says that most Americans, the average American, eats about 34 pounds of cheese. I think that's about 15 kilograms of cheese every year. And that amount is up. It has gone up 43% compared to 25 years ago. So 25 years ago, people were eating a lot less cheese, but now people are eating a lot of cheese, up to 34 pounds a year. That doesn't mean that everyone eats 34 pounds, but some people eat more, some people eat less. So the average is about 34 pounds, close to 15 kilograms. That's a lot of cheese. The second paragraph, it says, cheese is well known for its superb health benefits. So it says many people know that cheese is very good for our health, right? So superb means great and health benefits are the good ways that it's uh, good for your health or helping your health. It contains a variety of nutrients, including calcium, phosphorus, protein, probiotics, riboflavin, sodium, vitamins, and zinc. So it has a variety, meaning many different kinds of nutrients. And nutrients are things that we need in our bodies, like vitamins, right? So it says calcium, which is good for our bones. Same thing as phosphorus, another type of protein uh, or uh, material that our body needs. Probiotics, uh, we can find that in yogurt, right? Probiotics is, it's got living uh, bacteria, but it's good bacteria that helps our stomach uh, process the food. Riboflavin, sodium, vitamins, those are all different types of vitamins that our body needs to stay healthy. So if our bodies don't have vitamins, such as zinc and uh, sodium, then we might get sick easily. So these are all different types of nutrients, vitamins, things that our body needs to stay healthy and fight disease. Okay, so inside of cheese, we have a different combination of all of these different things. Calcium, we know that we can find it in milk and it's good for our bones, right? So it says, it also helps to form and strengthen teeth and bone, right? So just like I said, uh, milk is good for our teeth and our bones. So cheese is made of milk, so it has that benefit or it helps us in that way as well. So it also helps to form, make, and strengthen uh, teeth and bones. So cheese prevents osteoporosis. So prevents means it stops, right? It keeps us from getting uh, this disease called osteoporosis. And osteoporosis is a bone disease that affects the elderly 
or older people due to a lack of calcium. So when you lack something, that means you don't have enough. So in older people, as you get older, your body may not have enough amounts of calcium. So that's when your bones get weak. So if you fall down, you may break a bone easily. And that's a disease called osteoporosis. So moreover, in addition, it says cheese lowers the risk of diabetes and certain types of cancer. Plus, it helps people to lose weight. So there's other benefits of cheese. So if you eat cheese, you can also lower the chance or the danger of getting disease called diabetes. Uh, diabetes is a type of disease in your blood where you cannot use the sugar that's in your blood. Uh, and that could be very dangerous. And certain types of cancer, right? So we can see uh, different uh, benefits, not only just for your health, but also to prevent all these uh, dangerous diseases. It helps people to also lose weight. So uh, if you want to lose uh, some kilograms, right, if you want to go on a diet, uh, eating more cheese might actually be helpful. A uh, 2015 study found that cheese could make metabolism faster and lower obesity. So metabolism is how you get hungry, right? Your body is able to use the food and put it into the places that it needs uh, and use it and be active and then lets you get hungry again. That's your metabolism, how fast your body can process the food that you eat. That's very important. So it could help make your metabolism faster and lower obesity. Obesity is when people are overweight, right? When they are too heavy or have too much fat compared to uh, having healthy muscles. So just uh, be sure not to eat too much cheese since it has a lot of fat and calories. So yes, cheese has all these benefits, but cheese is not a perfect food either. So it goes with that saying, too much of something could be very bad. So too much cheese uh, would not be good, but just the right amount could have all these benefits because it has so many nutrients and vitamins in it. So maybe you're not a big fan of cheese. Maybe you eat the burger and say, oh, I don't want the cheese. Uh, maybe you eat uh, other snacks instead of little bits of cheese, but having a little bit of cheese in your diet or when you eat food would be very beneficial for your health. Now having too much cheese, well, it has a lot of fat and calories in it, so it might not be the greatest idea, but we see that cheese is a very important food that can help us to be healthy if you eat the right amount. And it's also very tasty. So let's take a look at today's article's questions. It says in A, according to the US Department of Agriculture, so I said agriculture is the growing of food, the farming of food, how much cheese does the average American eat? So on average, right? So it says the average American eats how many pounds of cheese every year? Up 43% from 25 years ago. So we said it's 43% more than it was 25 years ago. And we said it's about 15 kilograms. So in uh, an American metric system, it's 34 pounds. That's a lot of cheese. So let's look at B. It says, what kinds of nutrients does cheese contain? So what are the good things in the cheese? It contains a variety, many different types, a variety of nutrients, including blank, phosphorus, protein, probiotics, riboflavin, sodium, vitamins, and zinc. So what's the missing one there? And we said it's good for our bones, so it's calcium, right? So calcium is what helps our teeth, uh, it helps form it, it helps strengthen it, as well as our bones. The last question, C, what are the health benefits of cheese? So we know that it has a lot of nutrients, but how else can it help us? It helps to form or make and strengthen teeth and bone and prevents something, a bone disease that affects the elderly or older people due to a lack or not having enough calcium. So if you don't have enough calcium, what's the disease that weakens our bones and our teeth? It's a very long word and it's called osteoporosis. So osteoporosis is the disease that as you get older, your body needs more calcium to keep the bones strong. So osteoporosis is something that uh, if you eat cheese, it may help you uh, keep your bones and your teeth strong. So let's look at the last part, uh, filling in the blanks. Uh, once again, it says lots of cheese products such as cheeseburgers, cheesecake, and cheese pizza are, we said that many people like it. If a lot of people like it, that means it's very popular, right? So we did an article a while ago uh, about uh, Korean culture and how it's becoming more and more uh, popular or liked around the world, right? So we've learned this word before. Uh, let's look at the next question B. The blank of cheese 
consumed has also increased gradually around the world. Increase means uh, it has gone up more and more. Gradually means little by little bit. So all around the world, how the, the cheese that is eaten by people has gone up. So we need that word. What's that synonym uh, for eaten? And that is, uh, or the amount, which is, that is the volume of cheese that is consumed or eaten has gone up. So the amount, right? The volume. As well as the last question, C. Uh, cheese is well known for its superb health what? So how does it help our health? So when it's good for us, we call that a uh, benefit, right? So uh, it's known for its superb or great health benefits. So just like we talked about in today's article, cheese, some people like it, some people don't. Some people say it smells weird or it tastes weird, but some people love the taste of cheese like me. So we need to remember that cheese, yes, if you eat too much of it, just like anything, it will not help you out. It's, it, it could be fatty, but if you eat the right amount, it can give a lot of different health benefits. It can help you fight disease like osteoporosis. So we learned a lot about cheese. Now I hope you remember it's not just food, but it's very important part of our diet and it can help our health. I hope you enjoyed, uh, enjoyed today's article and learned a lot about cheese. And I'll see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.